All right. Uh, goldfish. Look, he gives out so much money if we get bubbles. So let's find some bubbles. I'll take a candy. I'll take a candy because then we can also take um, whatever its name is. Toddler. Cheese for a potential mouse, maybe. Or gambler. The earlier you get to gambler, the better. Uh, <laughs> what now? Earn? God, there's no synergy so far. Alright. I do want to try a suits build. I imagine they're not very good. And I don't even know how viable they are at, like, the end of the game. Well, sorry, when you have, like, high floor count and stuff. Let's try one, though. I'm just gonna pick one of these up and just try and... Oh, wait, fifth ace. So, the grey ones give one more when adjacent to the red ones. Red ones give one more when adjacent... <laughs> okay, yeah, so that's just... That's fine. So let's try that then. I think these are all uncommon or higher, so it may be a while until I can find more of those. But maybe that's fine. Yeah, I don't really want that, but I'll take a present. Just in case I can find a... Oh. <laughs> it's not great, but if I can find any... Um, toddlers, then they can just like destroy half of my builds, and that would be great. Because it gives me money. Okay, look, a hooligan would be great, and I do have an urn, but we already have, like, one of these things and, you know, an item that has to do with suits, so. So, yeah, take another red one, I think. Take a diamond. Adoption papers. You may destroy this item and choose three symbols to add. Not bad. Probably gonna leave that. I don't think this is amazing either, so, yeah. Take adoption papers. Pop it. Uh, wolf pays out pretty nicely. Take one of those. I only have one empty slot, so I'm not going to force any of those into the builds. And let's leave the chick, take a sand dollar. So I now have two extra things that pay out, like, two a turn. Pretty nice. No. <laughs> Just no. I'm not going to take the coal. I think I might be able to survive it, and it would be good later, but... What is this? Adjacent animals give two times more. I mean, of everything here, that makes the most sense. Not that I really have many animals, but he pays out to himself, so. Even if I don't lean into that synergy, I think he's worth taking. Clubs. Take clubs. So yeah, adjacent gray ones give one more. Gives one more if there are at least three, just any suits. I mean, he's been earning like four turns so far. Uh, <laughs> another goldfish. Maybe just leave it. I want to have, like, as many of these as possible and not, like, fill my deck with fluff. And none of these are insane anyway. But, yeah, I want to find a toddler as soon as possible because they can clear up a lot of the candy. I would say the presents as well, but... Yeah, they're going to disappear in a second anyway. Uh, take the hooligan. I already have one urn, so... That seems fine to me. Swear jar, you put one coin in this... Each time you gain less than 35 after a spin, you may destroy this item and gain three times inside. So that is better to take early. So that's a maybe. This is like never going to happen. And I don't care about this. Yeah, we'll take Swear Jar. And I'll trust it to be fine. <laughs> I'm just going to remove a cherry. I just don't care about that. All right. Uh, no, I'm not taking another present. Like, where are the toddlers? If I had a toddler, I'd take it, but... I'm not taking these if we don't have a way to get rid of them, like, quicker. Wait, you can interact with Sandola? Is that thing alive? Oh yeah, because it can get removed by the diver as well, I think. Hmm. It's a tame. She gives two a turn, which is almost tempting, but yeah, we never use the synergy here. Like, she has something with Pearl. Yeah, we can take it anyway. Pays out a bit more. Wait, so the beam master works on sandal? I think so, yeah. Like, I can check it. Yeah, yeah, so like bottom left-ish. Like, above the crow. So apparently sandal is a living thing. I wasn't sure what it was, but... I think this can get removed by diver as well, so I guess that makes sense. A removal token would be very nice, so yeah, take that. Show me more suit things. We had a great start, but then I haven't seen any for a long time. Alright, I imagine none of these are going to be very good. Destroys itself if there are at least three bears. When destroyed, bears give one more this game. Uh, it gives 20 when you skip. Destroy itself afterwards. And rabbits have a 100% chance of adding five rabbit fluff. Destroys itself afterwards. So if I had a whole build of rabbits, this would be insane. 
But uh, yeah, no, that's that's not really anything for me. I'm just going to take Pink Pepper because I'm not going to touch the rest. Spades, another thing. Small symbol bomb, maybe? Two gold whenever you skip is also pretty good, actually. And that's the like, another Pink Pepper. And I'm not that likely to see rare things anyway. I'm just going to take that. Like, that does seem pretty good. I want to keep my deck thin, so I probably am going to be skipping most of the time. So that's another, like, two gold a turn for, <laughs> for the most part. Uh, I don't have any cheese. Yeah, I'm going to leave the mouse behind. I definitely don't want Midas. The sand is on the beach are like shells. Oh. Okay. I don't know if we have them here, but even if we do, I'm not much of a <laughs> beachy person. It's been a while since I've been, and I can't really remember the wildlife. Key. I could take a key. It'd be cool if I ever found a another thing. Like, I already have a pretty thin deck, so it may be annoying for a while, but if I find something for it, then that'd be cool. I could take this to try and kill the gambler. I'd rather find the other one, though, because I don't want that in my deck long term. If I can find the five-sided die, then, you know, much nicer. Diamonds? Diamonds, yes. Uh, let's see. I don't want to get rid of the pearl. Get rid of the flower, maybe? Or coin? Get rid of the flower. Alright, hold on. What do I want to take, then? I do have goldfish, so taking the bubble's fine. Bronze hour probably makes some sense, because ideally I'd be getting some pretty high payouts at some point, but who knows. I think I try and keep it thin for now and just take bubble, because, you know, might get lucky, might hit that, and if the beast is around, it may get, like, double payouts. Alright, wild cards! I also really like a uh, item capsule, but you can't leave a wild card. Okay, looting glove. So anything that pops and gives you money gives, like, 1.5 times more pretty solid, even though I don't have any of that stuff yet. And then Zaroff's Contract. So Bounty Hunter can kill, like, anybody. And actually gives you a lot of money when it happens, too. Hmm. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that's another way to destroy the Gambler, maybe. But it would be my Beastmaster, Hooligan, and Dame would all get destroyed. But genuinely, it might be pretty good. If I can find a, a Bounty Hunter, then... Because I'm not really using any of these people. I'm going to take that. Let's see if we can find a, a Bounty Hunter then. Maybe thin my deck a bit. Not taking a Dwarf. I'll take the Milk, just because we do have a cat. If it doesn't take too long to work its way over there, then I don't think it's too bad. Don't think I'll take another cat. And I'm going to leave the target and the key. Yeah, let's just skip. Yo. Pretty good. Uh, leave everything, or do I take wine for her... No, she only does martinis, so yeah, skip. Skip, skip. Uh, <laughs> so Maybe, as long as it hits the goldfish at some point, then that's great value. But there's no guarantee that's going to happen. And yeah, this is where I take five-sided die, because I want to get rid of the, the gambler. Is that or I wait for a bounty hunter? But I don't know how long that's going to take. So yeah, I need to try and not die, so let's try and pop him now. Oh my god, it didn't even show up on screen. Uh, diamonds. Diamonds, remove... Coin. And I'm assuming this breaks before I die. I don't need to actively do it. So I'm just going to spin. Oh, my does disappear. Nice. So yeah, this is where I would die, I think. But yeah, I can pop this. So, solid. We didn't die. Rent has gone up a lot. Watering can. Destroy itself whenever a seed grows. And seeds give... 20 more, that's actually really good. Not for this build, but <laughs> in a build that it kind of makes sense in. Gives 10 whenever a symbol is destroyed, destroy itself afterwards. I mean, that's just 10, that's not great, but neither is this. This is all pretty bad. I think this is the only one I'm actually going to get any like trigger off, though, so I'll take that. 10% chance of adding honey. I really don't want that. I think this is probably where I roll, because I'm likely to find some rare stuff. And yeah, let's take a silver arrow. That's fine. Quinley... No, it <laughs> kind of would have been cool in the dog build we have recently. Had recently, but nah. Ninjas give more for other ninjas and looting glove. Let's just take uh, looting glove. Really hoping to find some of that stuff soon. Alright, no, none of this. Wow. Insane value, Silver Arrow. I'm so glad I added you to the squad. Hey, double bubble. 
31, pretty good. Lockbox. I do have a key. I should probably just do that. Yeah, let's just do that. Like, I'd rather get better value, but who knows when I'm going to find useful things. Like, I haven't even found another whatever her name is. Like, toddler. I'm going to take the urn because I do still have a hooligan. And there we go. We rolled a one, so now the gambler's dead, so I got a load of money. Great. Obviously, it kind of makes sense to leave that as long as possible, but who knew when I'd actually be able to trigger it, and I'd probably just die, and yeah, I'm taking the Bounty Hunter. So, because I have Zaros Contract, whenever the Bounty Hunter is adjacent to someone, he's going to kill them. <laughs> so that means my, like, all my rare people, my Dame, my Beastmaster, Hooligan, they're all going to get screwed. But it gives me 20 gold when they die. So it means I can just add random people to my build, and it'll um, pay out decently. Sadly, none of those are people. Also, just haven't seen him yet. Alright. Oh, we had more than enough money there. This is fruit. <laughs> is that or a lucky capsule? I don't even have, like, many rolls. Nah, take the lucky capsule. I want to roll. Red suits. Diamonds and hearts give two times more. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Hmm. What would I get rid of here? I can probably get rid of goldfish and not feel too bad. I'm going to do that, I think. Oh, there we go. Loads of dead people. And thankfully, the hooligan managed to pop the urn before he died, so that helps me out. Yeah, don't have a way to make the pair work, because I do have an arrow, but yeah, not convinced that's actually going to help too much. Sandal again, nah. Where are the people? I need more people. Or just more of these, you know. Suit-related stuff, also appreciated. I'm not going to take this. I do have Looting Glove, but I don't have a way to pop it, and I don't just want that in my build somewhere. Golden Carrot's really good. Can't remember what it does, but it sounds really good. Alright. Uh, dwarf. I could sacrifice the Dwarf. Yeah, let's do that. I trust that he'll <laughs> reach the Bounty Hunter pretty quickly, and he did. Yeah, there we go. Look at that, so much money. I'm not touching that. If I take a second Bounty Hunter, then they're just going to kill each other. Like, where is it? Yeah, he's like middle topish, so he can destroy himself. In which case, if there's two of them next to each other, then they destroy each other. And that's not really what I'm looking for. Oh, like five times is your luck. Dude, hearts. Hearts, amazing. Look how much these are going to be paying out. Six, eight, ten, amazing. Clubs! Does, like, the odds of finding suit stuff go up if you have more suit stuff? Because I swear I've never had luck like this in terms of finding them. <laughs> black suits destroys itself if they're at least four. Ah, black suits. When destroyed, they get more. I don't have many. Oh, I actually had three. That's not bad. We're obviously taking it. And do I roll or do I just take random person to sacrifice? I think I'd rather roll. Hearts, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Always hearts. What else do we have here? Gives one each spin, removes all coins before each spin, gives three whenever coins are removed. Doesn't really do anything, and I don't really want it to do anything. Two gold a turn, or if you have one spin left before your rent is due, you may also... Well, you may skip your next turn. If you do, at least one of the symbols to add will be rare or better. Uh, that's probably possible. So I'm going to take Comfy Pillow, I think. I just love it. My deck is still so thin, and it's almost all, like, suit stuff now. Void creature, maybe? Yeah, I mean, it probably pays out, like, slightly more than average. I still want to find a toddler, though, because I can both kill it, and it may be able to remove some of the random junk in my deck. Add something that was destroyed. Yeah, I think all of that is actually fine. <laughs> I'm fine to bring back most of that. Yeah, see, it brought back a person, and then they insta-died for 20 extra gold. Pretty solid. Still don't have a way to get rid of sand dollars, so we ignore... There goes another dud. I genuinely didn't think uh, think these sorts of builds would be a thing. <laughs> I thought they'd be way too flimsy, but it's working. It's not gone like off the rails yet, but it is doing a good job. Yeah, none of this. Come on, I need to buy people. I need to sacrifice more dudes to my bounty hunter. Yo. Where are the people, please? People or more suits? Look at that. The money. It's insane. Yeah, dwarf. 
<laughs> Thank you. Over a thousand. I'm not taking more candy. And we're not taking a strawberry either. And I don't think I'm guaranteed to see rare stuff, so I'm not going to spend my reroll here. Yes, skip. Show me a rare thing. Nice. Uh, oh, card shark. Adjacent suits and things are wild cards. Yeah. I may have to just remove my um, bounty hunter, which kind of ruins my dwarf, but like this guy has to be in the build. All right, Squither. Arrows point in two directions. I do have an arrow. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, take Quiver. I'm going to have to remove my Bounty Hunter. I wanted him to destroy the Dwarf as well, but... Yeah, we need the Card Shark, so... Goodbye, Bounty Hunter. You did a great job, so thank you. Quiver always good. I mean, I imagine it's better if you have... <laughs> arrows. Thankfully, I do have one, so yeah, I'm not going to complain. Oh... Anything good? It'd be nice if this guy sat like, you know, <laughs> not right in a corner. I could take a beer, maybe. I still have a thin deck, like the dwarf would probably get to it, but I feel like it's just going to make it a little bit less likely for my other stuff to work, and come on, this has to be amazing. Or not. Have a card shark make five more symbols while casting a spin. Nah, whatever. Alright, I'll take a void fruits. It's fine. Is this the remnants of Rabbit Hope? Nah, the rabbit game died. Removal capsule. And I'm still waiting for a toddler to remove these candy. That was like right at the start of the game and I've still never been able to do it. Okay. Ah, well there's toddler, but I'm not turning down spades. That lets me pop this and um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so hopefully that'll work. They're not all on screen, so I guess it doesn't pop yet. Hmm. Still, the money is amazing. And yeah, I think time capsule's still good. It might be worse now, because if it pulls back a person, then that's a problem. Actually, yeah, if it pulls back um, my bounty hunter. No, I removed him. He didn't get destroyed. There's like a 50-50 of it being useless or pretty good. But I don't think it's worth the risk. I may roll here, because most of the stuff I want is from this tier anyway. Oh, yeah, it wasn't guaranteed to be... Wasn't guaranteed to be uncommon, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna leave Bar of Soap. I don't even have my... <laughs> these stuff that kind of had some synergy for it, and yeah. We have so much money, show me a rare thing. Okay, what have you got? Lint Roller? Doesn't do anything. No, none of these do anything. Uh, I guess I could maybe pop this with, like, Void Fruit and Chemical 7. But, yeah, not <laughs> not counting on it. Joker! Rare gives three. Adjacent suit things give two times more. Welcome to the team. Lucky dice. That kind of feels like it fits the build as well. It doesn't, but, you know, at least I have a dice in the deck. Gives at least three if it... Sorry, gives three if at least three symbols are the same and not empty. I mean, I have a lot of diamonds. That could be triggering pretty often as well, but let's take Lucky Dice. It's rare and cool. And I think it's time to say goodbye to the dwarf. Goodbye, dwarf. <laughs> Yo, this actually looks pretty cool. Yes. I could take another five-sided die, because I did just take um, lucky dice. Why does it seem cursed? I don't know. To me, I'm looking at that, and it looks like an essence thing. But yeah, either way, that's only going to be five, and I'd rather not like, pollute my deck with stuff I don't want, so... Ignore. Ignore. We only take suits. Suits and maybe a toddler, because it's slightly more efficient than <laughs> just removing these individually. And I feel like this has to be good. Yeah, I mean, that's okay. Good money. Again, I don't know if I trust Time Capsule. It's too likely to hit something that's just kind of bad. That won't be self-removing. So yeah, we skip. Just play it safe. Play it safe and just get ready to die when the <laughs> boss makes none of this stuff work. Uh, keep rolling. Are there any items that make show, you know, suit stuff more common? It'd be great if I could, you know, actually find more of these. I mean, it's paying out a ton at the moment, which is nice. I don't have to worry too much. <laughs> Bounty Hunter again? No. 
No, I like my dudes. I like my dudes, thank you. Actually, now that I think about it, I could have just disabled Zaroff's contracts. Not that that was, like, preferable, because I could have just removed them, but... That was something I could do. I keep forgetting that I can just disable things. Yo, <laughs> wait. What's happening up here? Oh, it wasn't even that much. They, like, touched so many things, I assumed it'd be amazing. Alright, take a lucky capsule. There aren't any items which affect shop RNG apart from increasing or decreasing luck. Ah, fair. Alright. So, do I use my roll here, or do I wait until um, my sleepy pillow thing? Because I have so much money, I can probably just do that. Yeah, I should probably just do that. I don't think any of this is worth much, so yeah, let's ignore that. Skip our turn, and then I can spend my roll here. Don't care about any of this. I did used to have a dame, and then <laughs> the martini might have been okay, but... Yeah, another card shark, or silver arrow. It's gotta be the card shark. I know I have a quiver, but like... Come on. <laughs> Yo, lucky carrots! Three times more likely to find uncommon, rare, and very rare symbols. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. How are we looking? Remove pearl, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> I think two of these isn't even that amazing, because this is turning wild cards into wild cards. Wow, a mega chest. Uh, I mean, I do have a looting glove, but I don't have a way to pop it. Yeah. I don't know, I could take it anyway, because it does pay out three, but we're so close to the end of the game. If I don't pop it, then it's probably not even that good. Raising luck will mean you're... Wait, you find less suits, but more jokers and card sharks? Surely I'd still find more, right? Because I feel like most of the time on, like, base luck, I'm rarely ever seeing uncommon things. So having, like, three times luck must be, you know, upping my odds of finding this stuff. Yeah, more, more likely to find uncommon, rare, and very rare. So more likely to find uncommon. That's the key takeaway <laughs> for me. Uh, I'm just going to skip this, though. Like, leave Mega Chest. I don't have a way to open it, and I don't just want it cluttering this up. Oh yeah, no, this is still great. Keep it going. Don't think I care about any of this. I'm debating just rolling and, you know, trying to find suits that way. Like, I'm not sure whether I wait for a rare chance. Ooh, the money. Don't need a common... Nah, none of that's... <laughs> none of that's necessary. If you get too much luck, it decreases your chance of uncommons. I get that, but surely just having one luck... <laughs> one luck upgrade doesn't actually do that. Time capsule. Like, oh, spades. Spades, 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 spades. <laughs> I need more removals. Because there's still a load of junk in here. And now that I have my luck up, it's probably going to be even harder to find a toddler. Stop giving me time capsules. I can't do anything with that. There are decent things it can turn into, but I'm... I just feel like it's just going to give me a random person that I don't want. And if it turns into a... Uh... Oh no, I, I keep thinking it may turn into a bounty hunter, but that won't happen anyway. And if it did, I could disable it, but... Yeah, anyway, don't care. I don't even care that I have my lucky dice thing. Just keep going with this. Look, we're at like 4,000. 4,200. This is fine. No. <laughs> You guys good? That was okay. Alright, yeah, we'll skip. I have so much money. Okay, so show me a rare thing then. And never mind, it's boss time. I need to remember to actually like read this stuff, because he's gonna be giving me weird debuffs and like twice as many as normal. But anyway, Ninja Mouse does nothing, gives 30 if at least three symbols are the same and not empty, destroy itself afterwards, so that's like guaranteed. And yeah, that does nothing as well. So we'll take Green Pepper. Not amazing, but it's something. I could take Diver, because he can remove the Sand Dollar. But that's just a one-for-one -one trade that would make it slightly better than before. I think I'm going to roll for another, like, Joker or Card Dude. Of which we found neither. <laughs> I'm just going to skip. Haha, two damage. Wait, what did I get? I got Lucky Carrot. This is very, this is Golden Carrot. I thought that was that one. Dude, double carrot. Yes. I don't care if this is too much luck. I'm taking it. <laughs> like double carrots. Ah. Uh, 
So now I'm gonna see like jokers and card sharks nonstop, right? <laughs> I guess I could disable these if I really wanted to, but obviously never. Golden arrow, yep, has to be. Has to be. Okay, so my five gives two less. You have one less symbol to choose from after a spin. Can't disable or enable items, and you're 2.5 times as likely to find uncommon stuff. So, yeah, that, that barely hurts at all. Don't even feel it. In fact, you may be dead this turn. He's not, but it's very close. <laughs> nah. Nah. Alright, what is this? What is that? You can't give me, like, 10 debuffs at once. Alright, three-sided die gives one less. Guillotine has no effect. Lionel gave me a dud. Seeds can't grow. My diamonds give one less. Your line costs extra real tokens. Very rare symbols cost one less. I'll give one less. My pink pepper gives one less. Eggs can't be destroyed or removed. And Landlord added a hex of destruction. Well, I can't do anything about that, so... I guess I'll just tank it. Because I did mega damage, probably. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. Is he dead? Not dead. Almost dead, though. We got a heart! We got another thing! Alright. If a symbol would take coins, it takes one more. Monkeys give 50% less money. Removing symbols costs one more removal token. And symbols directly above or below each other are not considered adjacent. Does not matter. Die. Die for your sins. Alright. Well. <laughs> Actually, good run. I didn't think I'd ever get a suit run to work. Especially not, like, floor 17. That was very solid. Very much enjoyed that run, and I can't believe I found both carrots. <laughs> Dude, so much luck. Look at this. We got, like, a wild card, two clubs, two, uh, three spades, four diamonds, three hearts, two card sharks, and a joker. I don't know if anything got destroyed by the hex of whatever at the end. It doesn't look like it, and if it did, it didn't matter, so... Yeah, solid.